Iceland. The very name conjures up images of giant glaciers and long, freezing winters. But the last five years have been the warmest period for more than a millennium. Scientists say Iceland's glaciers are melting faster than ever before. Professor Magnus Gudmundsson stands at the spot where the glacier edge used to be. That was five years ago. He says almost all glaciers in Iceland are retreating rapidly. This glacier has been retreating very fast. Uh, warm summers and that means lots of melting on the glaciers, so they are retreating. And uh, this is not the only glacier that is retreating in Iceland. Underneath the calderas are magma chambers at a relatively shallow depth, a few kilometers depth. And they are in uh, some sort of equilibrium with their surroundings. And if the ice caps disappears and the ice disappears, there is a possibility that we would see more eruptions and some of them perhaps quite violent. The world's top climate change scientists warn that melting ice sheets in the polar regions could contribute to a global rise in sea levels. The Antarctic ice caps certainly would because those are huge quantities of ice. If they started melting rapidly then that would certainly have an impact on sea level rise. Here in Isa Fjordur, north of the capital Reykjavik, rising sea level is already a reality. City officials say they'll have to raise the 60-year-old sea wall to prevent flooding. We have calculated, or scientists have calculated, that we need to do so. We need to have it half a meter higher than the old one because this peninsula, the, the city lies on, is, is very low near the sea and they think that the sea level will rise. Hal Dorsen says the warmer seas could affect the local economy, especially the fishing industry. If the sea is getting warmer, the, the fish can move, so it, it can affect our fishing stocks and our, and our capability to, to fish. We have a special area that we are allowed to fish in, Icelanders. If it moves out of that area, it, it creates a problem for us. Environmental group Greenpeace is demanding international action to reduce climate changing emissions. As the world's biggest producer of greenhouse gases, the United States must lead the way. Well, the United States only has 3% of the world's population, yet we emit 25% of the world's greenhouse gases. It's very clear that the impacts of climate change are already here today and they're going to do nothing but get worse in coming decades. The United States must join the Kyoto Protocol. Scientists predict that many glaciers and ice caps in Iceland will disappear within 200 years. Many people here are wondering whether their country will still be called Iceland a couple of centuries from now. <laughs>